this module we are again talking about workplace but with reference to some other features some other dimensions first of all workplace is also a community of practice see the whole society is organized into social groups each of these social group is called community of practice that can be family that can be your office that can be your campus so each of these social group is called community of practice and the total of such communities of practice is called society or community so workplace is also a community of practice because it shares the major features of a community of practice c of p for short we call it c of p number 1 they are a social group so when we say social group it is to differentiate it from anti social group those are groups which are not desired by the society they don't contribute positively to the society so the first thing that uh, makes it different from other groups is that it is socially desired group number 2 these members of community of practice they have a goal and that goal is common and all members of that community work together jointly to achieve that goal third this mutual engagement for the achievement of goal it develops common ways of talking common ways of doing work it develops certain beliefs based on their mutual experiences beliefs about their profession beliefs about society beliefs about gender and things like that and also values and power relations because within a uh, community or practice some people are at higher pedestal than the others so hierarchical or power relations are also developed being member of a community or practice so all these three features are found in workplace that's why it is also a community of practice the discourse of these communities their speech style the way they talk we call it the discourse the discourse of these communities of practice helps to know whether a co b is gendered gendered when we say gendered it means whether it is gender based whether in this community one gender is preferred to the other gender to understand this we compare two communities of practice actually they are taken from a study from a research that was conducted in two different communities of practice one c of p was office and an other was a factory one is typically feminine the office is feminine because here the staff is feminine the head is feminine so this workplace is feminine and uh, other the factory that is typically masculine and it often happens that males they dominate uh, work manual work technical work in a factory so these are two places one is dominated by female staff the other is dominated by male staff the features of discourse of these c of p's communities of practice for short i would use from now on c of p c of p will tell us whether these places are gendered or not so we will compare what we will compare their discourse and this comparison will highlight whether these c of p's are gendered or not office let's talk first about office this office 
belongs to a feminist organization that works for feminism. Dominated by female staff, number one, had all features of female C of P. How? Number one, types of mutual engagement were face to face. Face-to-face -face talk, informal meetings, informal problem-solving sessions, informal, and that means outside office work, during office work, on sidelines of office work, they discuss, they share each other's problems, professional, personal, and uh, that talk also happens. So these are part of their discourse. Social chat during work and at breaks and in passing. Passing when they pass by uh, certain friends and colleagues. So passingly, they also talk with each other. Talking by phone or email within the same organization. This is also another means of talk. Reading each other's letters, reports, etc. Parties, they attend parties, official and uh, social parties, dinners outside the work. Number two. So, first of all, we see that in this office, staff is female. They have these uh, types of conversations with each other. And number two, female staff was aware of their giant goal. Working for feminist agenda, as I told you, the, the office belonged to a feminist group. So they were aware of their goal. The work environment was female friendly. So uh, there was no harassment and things like that. Third thing, the office staff had developed particular communicative style. If you remember, in the beginning of this course, we discussed uh, Robin Neck. She pointed out that women have a particular speech style. So uh, in the light of that uh, finding that was uh, by Robin Neck, we say that these people develop a particular speech style. What are features of that? Talk in meetings. We focus on this talk. That happens during meeting. Number one, there was respect for one another's point of view. There was a negotiation, discussion, open discussion, then consensus, then agreement. There was no order issuing from the boss. Number two, talk was in informal tone, not in very formal, very rigid style of talk that often happens in, uh, you might have seen in uh, uh, government offices. No. Number three, there was very thin boundary between their personal and professional lives. So uh, often uh, you might have heard people talking that Keep your personal life and your issues outside your professional life. Don't talk about that. But here the situation is quite different. These things together are discussed in the office. Number four, there were digressions from the main topic. There were deviations. Sometimes they leave the main topic and they uh, go to uh, different directions of talk. So this is possible here topic shifts and mixing humor with business talk. I see, uh, this, uh, this shows that this uh, meeting is stress-free and relaxed. Everybody is thinking, contributing creatively. And all this happens when the environment of talk is friendly and relaxed and stress-free. So this is also feature of their uh, office meeting. And number five, all this was somehow relevant to the agenda under discussion. And this is very important. They were doing all these things, but the main focus was uh, in front of them. See, this is a glimpse of 
such kind of meeting here the head is a female and she is working with male staff so this is her style of uh, headship and talk uh, you can see from this picture you can visualize from this picture all the things which i have been sharing with you so we conclude from this talk that the results of this study that was conducted in office here we focused only on one situation that was office the second would be discussed in the following module so from this part of the study we conclude that women at this workplace that is office this is dominated by women and their style of talk so it is gendered